Capturing and building calmness. Some dogs need help to learn how to relax. Calmness does not come naturally to some breeds. By reinforcing your dog for being calm, your dog will start to choose calmer behaviors in the future and actually enjoy being calm. To capture and reinforce calmness, you simply have to surprise your dog with a treat while they're laying calmly and not thinking about the food. Here you can see with Splash, I'm going to pet her a little bit so she doesn't think that I'm just coming over to give her a treat. You don't want to click in this exercise because after you've clicked, you're feeding the dog while they're excited and thinking about the food rather than feeding them for being calm. The first time that you do this exercise, your dog is going to get very excited after they get the treat. So you want to show them that you have no more treats and then try the exercise again when they're least expecting it. Here you can see Tug laid down next to me, but he's still thinking about the food so he gets no treat. I will go back inside and try again later. Teaching default calm behaviors. Teaching a dog default calm behaviors is very beneficial as it teaches a dog how to make the right choices without guidance from the handler. You can teach your dog to lay down calmly when you are ignoring him on leash, when you are busy on the computer, in between training sessions when you're holding treats, when you're working with another dog, or when you're cooking or eating dinner. Teaching a default settle. Okay, I want to teach you how to teach your dog how to lay down at your feet as a default whenever you sit down and they're on leash or you're standing and ignoring them. So all you need is a dog, a leash, some treats that they find reinforcing. If they don't like them, if they're not doing, if they're, if they're not working for the food, then they're not reinforcing it. So uh, something they really like, that's really tasty. So find a chair, get a leash, sit down, ignore your dog. Have the leash short, short enough that they can't reach anything exciting. And when they choose to lay down, which Splash has already done this exercise before, so she might be a little faster than other dogs. When they choose to lay down on their own, treats rain from the sky between their paws. You don't really want to give your dog any attention, the treats just appear between those paws. If they pop up when, after the treats have gone down, then just ignore them, wait for them to lay back down again. You don't see the dog, what dog? And then when they're down again, treats rain from the sky. And if they stay down like that, they get more treats. And then gradually, the, the treat rate, where however many times you're dropping the treats, gets longer and longer. So they have to be laying there, calmly settled for longer and longer periods of time. The next thing you want to add is some handling and distraction. So once they've mastered settling at your feet in the living room, then try other rooms of the house, try the garden, go in the street, go to a, you know, final, the final thing would be a cafe. So. You can also add some handling. So if they stay down while you're handling them, yep, they get a treat. In handling, maybe tail pulling, maybe a little kid. This is preparing for the little kid that comes up at the restaurant and kind of comes to poke the dog in the face. And they get reinforced for staying there. So I'm not telling her to stay there. She likes to stay there. She's reinforced and reinforced for it, so it's a behavior that she chooses on her own. Will she stay there while I walk away? That's the re uh, behavior to be reinforced. She's tapping for that. Thank you. Next, uh, next distraction for a splash is having a dog work for treats in front of her. So because she's already she already knows this behavior, <coughs> I'm going to do some tricks with Kiko. If she chooses to get out, I'm not going to punish her. I'm just going to ignore her and only reinforce her when she lays down again. Kiko, come here. Yeah. Good. You go away. You go bye. You go bye. Your tail. Yeah. So at first, you want, if you're gonna work with another dog and another and and have one of the dogs settled, I would give a treat for every time the other dog gets a treat at first. So they learn I'm getting just as many treats just laying here as that dog is doing their behaviors. And how wonderful of an owner is that to do that for me? Okay, all done. So have a cue to me and get up. So all done are okay. If you don't get up, you know, pat your legs, encourage them out, and give them a treat for coming with you. Now practice with the park. Yeah. Oh yeah. Pop. Yeah. Good job. 
This is some footage of my rescue puppy Tug after I just got him. We've practiced the settle a couple of times at home, but he's very aroused by food and being in a new environment, all he can focus on is how he can get that food. If I were to feed him while he was staring at the food, I would be building arousal and excitement. So instead, I'm choosing to feed him when he looks away or his interest is diverted from the food. This is where a lot of mistakes can happen. Trainers can feed their dogs for a nice down, but they're also building in this high arousal if the dog is focused on the food. So when the dog doesn't get his food that he's expecting, he gets frustrated and gets up. With the technique of feeding the dog for not thinking about the food, you're actually conditioning the dog to enjoy doing the behavior on his own, rather than doing it as a trick. Make sure your dog also doesn't just learn to look away to get their treat, as Splash is doing in this video. She puts her head down and keeps it very still, and then lifts it up to say, hey, where's my treat? If in doubt that your dog is actually still thinking about the food, don't give a treat. Here are some tips. Don't drop treats if the dog looks up at your hand as you move it to give the dog the treat. Instead, try again later. Don't cue the dog down. It works better if the dog figures it out on his own and chooses to lay down. Use high value treats like real meat or cheese for such a wonderful behavior.